Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 3. Today I'm going to be showing just the very basics of how to create a wireless power source using a flux plug and a flux point. Now to begin, you need a few different components. Uh, you're also going to need an RF power source. Uh, for today's, I've already created a uh, small extreme reactor. That's going to be our power source today. Uh, if you'd like to learn how to make extreme reactors, I will post a link to another tutorial video showing those steps at the end of this video. So to get started, there's several things we're going to need. Right off the bat, the first component we're going to need is flux. Flux is needed for pretty much every component needed using the flux point and the flux uh, plug. So to get flux is very easy. All you have to do is smelt redstone. Okay. So pop that, some redstone in the smelter, you will get flux one for one. Next, you're going to need a f multiple flux cores. Now, flux cores are made with the flux on each outer corner, four pieces of obsidian, and an eye of ender. Once you've got a bunch of those, you're going to need flux blocks. These are made again with flux in a five pattern with four of the flux cores surrounding it. You'll use the flux block to build your flux plug. There's a flux block in the center and four flux core. And then you will need flux points, which is one block of redstone with four flux cores. So, for today's video, I'm going to use an auto hammer and an auto sieve just to give an, an idea of how this works. So, first component we're going to use is our flux plug. The flux plug, you're going to correct your RF power source. If you're using a stream reactor, you're going to connect that to your redstone flux power tap. As you can see, when I connected that, the little light went green. It means active power is going to the plug. Now, if you take your flux point and connect it to whatever it is you're trying to provide RF, we're going to look at it first. You see right now there's zero RF power. It's not doing anything. Even if I put some cobblestone in there, it does not start working. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put a flux point on the top of that. Now, if you look inside, it still does not have power. There are still some steps we have to take. So we're going to go over here to our flux plug. We're going to right click on that. We have to select a network. Now, I have not yet created a network on this world, so we're going to start. If you go to net networks, there are none. So go over here to create a network. It's going to default to your character's name. You can change it to the name you want in case you want to have multiple networks. We're just going to go with Only Draven's network, and we're going to create that. That network is now where this power is going. We're going to go over here. We're going to right-click on our flux point. Now, again, we want to select a network. As you can see, Only Draven's network is now showing up. Click on that. It is highlighted. And immediately, our auto hammer starts working. See, it now has plenty of RF, and it is processing that cobblestone into gravel. You can run multiple flux points off of a signal, multiple flux off of one. As you can see, it's red here. It's green. That means it's getting the power. It's actively working and connected. This one is still gray. It's not connected yet. So again, we're going to go in here, choose a network, Only Draven's network, power sieve, throw a little dirt in there, and bam, it's got RF. It's now processing the dirt. So your auto hammer and your auto sieve are running off the same flux points off of one flux plug. Now, there are other flux components you can use when multitasking multiple networks. I'm not going to go into all of those today. I'll do that in a future video if that's something you guys would like to see. Please put it down in the comments and let me know. But if you go into your menu and you do a search for flux, you're going to see pretty much all the different things I've talked about today. Flux, how to make that. As you can see, smelting redstone. You're also going to find all the recipes for your flux core, your flux block, as well as your flux point and your flux plug. The easy way to find your recipes. That's the basics of running just a wireless power source using flux plugs and flux points. 
Uh, be sure to like the video if you uh, enjoyed it or found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe to watch uh, more of my videos. There will be here in just a moment uh, a tutorial link on how to build the Extreme Reactor. And if you'd like to see further information on how to open up networks, feel free to put it down in the comments. So, other than that, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you.